10 exercises that will make you smarter in a week. Oh, I've been waiting my whole life for this. We all work out hard at the gym now and then, but how often do we train our brain? Yes, you should exercise it as well. Exercises, games, and even meditation can help you with that. Try them now and add this video to your favorites to make them a part of your daily routine. You'll see the first results in a week, and then will work even better if you keep working out for a month. Counting down from number 10. Enriching your vocabulary. A rich vocabulary is a sign of a smart person, isn't it? Reading books is an obvious way to become smarter. However, not all of us honestly have time for that these days. Here's a solution. This one-minute exercise will help you find new ways of saying beautiful and comfortable. Look around. Now, describe the first object that caught your eye. That pen on your desk, for example. Can you come up with five or six different descriptions of it? You have 30 seconds for the task. Now, was it hard? If you felt like the words you need were right at the tip of your tongue but did not come out, here's what you can do. Pause this video for a couple of minutes and consult an online thesaurus. Write down all the synonyms you need. There you go. As you go back to this exercise, just pick another object next to you. You will see that this task will get easier every time you try it and your vocab will grow. Number 9. Visualizing. Time for some memory training. It is an essential part of any brain workout. Can you quickly memorize the words you see on your screen? Top model, ocean, sun hat, dog, sandwich. Hmm, five seconds was not enough. What if we try to connect these words logically? A top model was having a photo shoot by the ocean. The wind blew her sun hat off but the dog saved it and was rewarded with a sandwich. Now, play this image in your mind. Can you remember the words in their original order now? I bet you can! We have a few more word sets for you to practice as you go back to this video. Date Spaghetti Sad Vegetarian Surprise Policeman Tourist Graffiti Museum Fine Cruise, octopus, fireworks, heels, bandage, school, hamlet, wig, disaster, joke. Number 8. Chunking. Here's another memory boosting exercise. You can never do too many of these, right? How good are you at memorizing numbers? Let's try this one. 5. 1, 7, 4, 9, 8, 7, 2, 3, 1. Wait, keep it on. Hmm, I think it was 56 something something 8. I give up. <laughs> if you failed at this one as well, it's not a reason to panic. Your brain just handles short term memories of no importance to you this way. It lets go of them real quick, keeping them for no longer than 30 seconds. And it only keeps a maximum of 5 items in there. The 10-digit number you've just seen was useless to you. But what if it was some data at work you only need for now, so it's important but not important enough to keep it for a long term? Checking the same numbers you need for your report a million times can get annoying. The good news is you can train your short-term memory easily. Let's just split the number into sections. You've got 5 seconds to memorize it. 517-498-7231 <laughs> And now, enjoy this cute cat photo for another 5 seconds to let the number sink in. Ah, Time to check the numbers! Can you remember all the 10 digits now? I believe you can. Try it with your social security or credit card number. 
or the numbers from your phone book. Keep chunking to boost your short-term memory. Number 7. Memory Shortcuts There are some pieces of information we'd better remember for good. Important historical moments, countries and capitals, US presidents. Can you name the first 16 of them? Washington, definitely, and then it was Jefferson or Madison. I can't tell you, but I can definitely tell you that Washington's army jogged many miles and jogged very hard to Philadelphia to find pretty British ladies. Makes no sense? Oh yes, it does! Here is a list of the first American presidents by the last name. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe, Quincy Adams, Jackson, Van Buren, Harrison, Tyler, Polk, Taylor, Fillmore, Pierce, Buchanan, Lincoln. So, if you memorize this line, remembering the presidents will be way easier. You can try using mnemonic devices, those lines with a hidden meaning, to keep other information in mind as well. Number 6. Reaction Game Now that you've trained your memory, it's time for a reaction exercise. You will see different shapes appear on the screen. Your task is to clap every time you see a circle. We'll start with a slow, easy sequence and then go faster and faster. Ready? Let's go! This one was easy. But how about we take it one level up? Let's do it faster! And now, level 3 to top it. You will see quickly moving images of different colors. You should only clap when you see blue circles. Got it? Go! That was hard! Well, practice makes perfect, and it will get easier as you keep trying. Number 5. Pocket reading Have you ever tried neurobics? Well, I've tried being neurotic, but it's not as much fun. Now, neurobics, you're about to do it! It is a set of exercises which are meant to stimulate different brain areas in what might seem like unusual ways. The term neurobics was made up by Dr. Katz, a professor of neurobiology at Duke University Medical. He knows to activate all your senses in one exercise. Doing that is very good for your brain. Put some coins in your pocket. Now, without looking inside, try to understand what coins they are. Feel them. Their size, texture, and edges can tell you a lot. Now see if you guessed it right. Number 4. Inventing Conversations Another neurobic exercise, which is also fun, I promise. You will see a short mute video. Your task is to improvise and invent some lines for its characters. It will be more fun if you do it with your friends, but even doing it by yourself will stimulate your brain and imagination. The next time you try it, you can just turn your TV on and set it on mute. It will give you enough space to improvise. Number 3. Making predictions Try to predict the outcome of something, which will be known in the next 24 hours. A sports game, some event at work, the ranking of your favorite band in the music chart. It can be whatever. Then wait to find out the results. What's the point of it? Making a prediction is a great way of boosting your brain power. First, it takes some imagination to do it. Second, it will keep you intrigued and stimulate the reward system of the brain, according to neuroscientist Judy Willis, MD. If you were right, you would be happy. If you were wrong, you will make your conclusions and might learn something new. Number 2. Riddles Different kinds of riddles are a great help if you want to keep your mind sharp. Let's give it a go! 
if you take three apples from a group of five, how many apples will you have? Hmm, five, three, two? The answer is three apples. You just took them yourself. All right, let's try it again. You can buy eight eggs for 26 cents. How many can you buy for a cent and a quarter? Five seconds to think it over. The answer is 8 eggs. You still have 26 cents. There are 7 daughters in the family. Each of them has a brother. How many kids are there in the family? Sounds like a big family of 8. All sisters have just one brother. Alright, enough of that. Number 1. Building focus. Let's finish our workout with some super useful relaxation. We all find it hard to concentrate at work or school sometimes. Or that feeling when your thoughts are going in all the wrong directions. Ooh, thumbs up if you can relate. Let's stop with this simple meditation. All you have to do is close your eyes and breathe out 10 times without thinking of anything. That's an unusual way of getting smarter, you might say. Well, it's all about developing your ability to focus and concentrate. Now, give it a go. Close your eyes and slowly count to 10. And 10. So, was it hard? You must have had all of those thoughts bubbling through your mind. As you repeat this exercise, you will notice how it gets easier and easier to cut all the extras out. Just you and the breathing. Now, don't forget to save this video to your favorites so that you can come back to it easily. If you liked it, let us know by using the thumbs up button. If it gets 50,000 likes, we'll share more brain workout ideas. Subscribe to our channel. Life is better on the bright side.